What's going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. Today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite trade breakdowns and this is going to be the Chris Archer trade which occurred July 31st, 2018 and you might be wondering why I like this trade so much. I am not a fan of Chris Archer and the moment I saw this trade I said Pittsburgh just got screwed. Why would you trade two top prospects for Chris Archer? How did the trade work out for Pittsburgh? How did it work out for Tampa Bay? Well, first we'll start off with Pittsburgh. And of course, they acquired the aforementioned starting pitcher, Chris Archer. And he would start 33 games over one and a half seasons in Pittsburgh, which would be the second half of 2018 and all of 2019. And he was okay, but he missed all of 2020 with an injury. And he just didn't look good later in the 2019 campaign. So he had a career worst ERA of 5.19 in the 2019 season. And uh, it's fair to say that this trade was a bust for them because Chris Archer has a big contract. Like, he has a pretty big contract for this upcoming 2021 season. But it's an option, so the team's going to decline the option. It's all but guaranteed. So Chris Archer is leaving the team with a 1.3 war through one half seasons now what did Tampa Bay get in exchange for him they got one of the top prospects in Pittsburgh system who had just gotten called up at that point in outfielder Austin Meadows and Meadows he had a very strong season in 2019 which he which he was named to the all-star game uh he he's been a key player for Tampa Bay since he was called up in 2019 but in 2020 he did deal with a couple injuries and he actually started the season on the COVID list so he did have COVID he did return, and he had a decent season, but he wasn't his 2019 all-star form. Then they also got starting pitcher Tyler Glassnow, who had a good season in 2018 for the team and was elite in 2019 before an injury injury ended a season early on in May. And then he had, he's had a decent 2020 in which he rebounded from a rough first couple starts. And for the record, these wars are as of the 2020 season for the first time in the trade breakdown history uh these wars are as of 2020 and then the last player they got in this trade was pitcher Shane Baz who's still a minor leaguer he's probably going to be a reliever at the big league level so in the end uh Pittsburgh got a 1.3 war out of Chris Archer while Tampa Bay got a 7.8 war out of their three players and that war is only going to get worse in Pittsburgh for Pittsburgh Tampa Bay won this trade hands down hope you guys enjoyed this have a great rest of your day